Land navigation builds from one skill to another. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a technique called resection. Now, resection is the ability or a technique you use in a wilderness area to pinpoint your location from two known points on a map. For you to utilize this technique, you need to have a topographical map with you and a compass. So, you're in a wilderness area and you have a general idea of an area that you're in and you want to pinpoint your location. We're going to utilize resection. Now, resection can utilize uh, man-made features such as a radio tower, a church, etc. Or you can utilize terrain features. In this example, I'm going to use two hilltops. So I'm in a wilderness area. I see two hilltops. I can identify them on my topographical map. So I take my compass which, by the way, is already adjusted for magnetic declination. And I shoot an azimuth to my first hilltop. And that azimuth is 340 degrees. I need to convert that to a back azimuth, which is 160 degrees. So from that hilltop, I'll take a straight edge and I'll draw a line on a 160 degree azimuth. Now, from my same location, I'll take my compass again and shoot an azimuth to the second hilltop. That azimuth is going to be 45 degrees. I get a back azimuth, which is 225 degrees. I take a straight edge and I shoot an azimuth from that hilltop on a 225 degree azimuth. Where those two points intersect is my location. Now, there's also another technique called modified resection. This is where you shoot one azimuth and you're on a linear point, such as a road or a trail. So you're on a trail, you see a hilltop, you shoot an azimuth to that hilltop. Now you can identify that hilltop on a topographical map. You get a back azimuth, and where that line crosses over the road is your location. Now utilize resection, again, you need to be able to identify train features and use a compass. So if you want to brush up on those skills, look at my previous videos here on my channel, and it should help you. And that is utilizing resection with a compass and topographical map. Remember, the compass that I shot these azimuths with was my Sunto compass, and I've already adjusted for magnetic declination. If you don't have that, then you need to adjust for magnetic declination when you get your back azimuth. 